it is Coastline Kids Online. I am Michael and you are Mark. That's going to have really impressed like one person and everyone else. Well, you're just watching it thinking, no, I'm not called Mark. Anyway, enough of the rubbish magic tricks. Actually, one more. Ooh, 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 where's my thumb? <laughs> Oh dear. What a week we've had. It was our Easter party on Saturday. We welcomed 165 children and 122 adults into church for a whole lot of fun. Plus, we gunned Sam, which was epic. Uh, now, there's only two episodes left of The Great Bible Bake Off, and this week is the semi-final. One of the bakers is going to be eliminated as they bring their cakes themed around Jesus' death on the cross up to the table to be judged. <coughs> oh, it looks good. Well, let's start with you, Judas. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna love it. <laughs> well, that's a decent looking cake. Well, it's pretty wet. Why is it so wet? Well, let me try it. Ah! <laughs> How's that vinegar? <laughs> Yeah, it is! <laughs> oh, gross! Right, Peter, you're next. Let's see your cake. Yeah, I mean, weirdly, it looks similar to Judas's cake, but it's different, I swear. Okay, I like the blood red icing. Let's have a try. Mmm! That tastes great, Peter! You've really outdone yourself there! Oh, oh my goodness! Thanks a billion! John! That's over to you to impress us. Yeah, give them a go. Pancakes. Hmm. I mean, it's nice, but is it technically a cake? I'm, I mean, it literally has cake in the name. Yeah, of course it's a cake. Yeah, but not quite what we were after, though. What? Are you serious? Okay, it's time to find out who the star baker is this week. <sighs> yeah. Uh, oh, come on. It's Peter. Congratulations. <laughs> that means you are safe from elimination, you are not going home. But the person of the two left who's being eliminated today is... Don't care. Oh my goodness, if I'm eliminated... It's Judas. It's Judas. Whatever. Phew! I thought they were gonna eliminate me because, because pancake isn't a cake. It is a cake. It is a cake. It's a cake. It's in the name. Pancake. It's a cake. <gasps> I'm in the final. I can't believe it. Come on. Tune in next week to find out who the winner will be. Or, actually, did you know that all the Bake Off videos are right here in a playlist on YouTube? The full video of the final will be uploaded on Sunday, so you can get it there and watch it before anyone else. Now, I've got something very, very special for you this week. Oh, a treat from me. Yes, you're welcome. A little Easter surprise. Uh, it is a live recording of the message from Sunday. So, let's cross over to Pete in Coastline Kids. Why did Jesus have to die? Okay? Before we go into that, I want you to go back a long, long time. Okay? So we're going to go all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Okay? In my head, the Garden of Eden is like paradise. It's like trees, birds, plants, all the food you can possibly eat. Okay? And in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve who knows who Adam and Eve are? Adam and Eve had a perfect relationship with God. Okay. When you guys are with your best friend, what's it like when you're with your best friend? It's nice because you're with your friends and they're really nice to you. And no one else? Hey. Answered when G 
Jesus came to earth. Okay, so when Jesus came back to earth, he came back to build that relationship, that perfect relationship that us humans have with God, which is one thing. Also, in that passage as well, there's lots of references to the old parts of the Bible. Okay, and a lot of people call these references of prophets. They don't know what a prophet is. The exact word is someone who is regarded as a teacher or a proclaimer of God's word. Okay? And in the Old Testament, so this was written thousands of years before Jesus was even born, they reference things about how Jesus would die. There's a psalm that King David wrote, and in that psalm, which is a song, there's lots of reference talking about exactly how Jesus would die. And this song is written a thousand years before Jesus. That's pretty incredible that someone kind of knew what was going to happen a thousand years before Jesus died. And that's why, as Jesus was dying on the cross, he said those things. But this is what I really want you to remember from this talk this morning. By far, the most important reason Jesus had to die the way he did was to bring us back into a perfect relationship with God. So if you think back to the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve had that perfect relationship, that's what God wants us to be like as well. When we mess up, which we all do, I mess up loads. I cross, I shout, yeah, I mess up a lot. I'm sure Michael messes up, I'm sure Adam messes up, we all mess up. And what happens when we mess up, our relationship with God gets a little bit further away. And Jesus comes back in and he goes, right, I'm going to take all the things that are in the way of men, all the things that you kind of mess up to block that relationship with God, I'm going to take them and I'm going to get rid of them. So when he died on that cross, he took all of the rubbish, all of the messy bits from our lives, and made them go away. He forgave us for them. That's things that we've done in the past, and things that we're going to do in the future. So that's what I want you to remember. I want you to remember that Jesus died to take away all of the mess that we have in our lives, all of the naughty things we do, the silly things we do, so that we can have that perfect relationship with God. Okay. Thanks, Pete. Wasn't it so fun to see that filmed live? That is a little bit what it's like on a Sunday morning at church. So why not come and join us? Come and join us actually this Sunday for Easter Sunday, which is going to be brilliant. We're going to have bouncy castles. We're going to have food. There's going to be all sorts of fun. But if you miss it, you can, you can. I will let you catch up right here on YouTube on Wednesday on Coastline Kids Online like this right now, right? After next week, though, we're having a couple of weeks off from the videos. I need a bit of a break, right? So you'll have to watch some of the older videos before we relaunch again for the summer term to whet your appetite for Coastline Kids. Okay, that is enough chatter. Final thing to do is to watch our pie from the week. We pied Blake this week in his face. It was his first ever Coastline Kids pie. So we made sure it was a big one. <laughs> I love it. Right, see you next week. Bye-bye.